You're watching ESPN's Champ Week, presented by SoFi. Tonight from Kansas City, either Texas or Oklahoma State will be cutting down the nets. The Big 12 title is on the line now. Here we go. K has lived past the hype. Back outside, Cunningham. Oh! Cade Cunningham is not a star. He is a superstar. The Horns don't believe in hype. Texas is for real. They have winning experience. They have a winner's mentality. Oklahoma State. This is undoubtedly go down as one of the best teams in Oklahoma State history. Texas. At the end of the day, we just want to win. We plan for each other. Big 12 championship. This is the Phillips 66 Big 12 championship. And the Big 12 Player of the Year has Oklahoma State on the brink of bringing a title back to Stillwater. But the Longhorns are ready to fight them for it. Either Oklahoma State or Texas will be bringing this hardware home. And we are about to find out who. The Cowboys beat Baylor. Baylor's second loss of the season. And that puts the Pokes in the title game against Texas, who squeezed past Texas Tech. A one-point win Thursday, then a positive COVID test for Kansas. Put them in the title game tonight. Welcome to Kansas City. Bob Wachus in here with Fran Fraschilla and Holly Rose. So glad you can be part of what really is a season-ending celebration for one of the best, if not the best, basketball conference in college this year. Fran, it's been an amazing Big 12 season and emblematic of this season. Oklahoma State, look at the run the Cowboys have been on of late to get to this opportunity. We've had ranked teams all season in the Big 12, but this team in 19 days beat six top 25 teams. They were not ranked before. They are ranked now, and they're climbing, and Joey Lenardi loves them as well. Why? Why? Cade Cunningham has been as good as advertised. He will clean up more hardware in one year than Home Depot. More importantly, he has empowered his young teammates to become stars of their own as well. And Holly, this cast that Cade Cunningham has had the chance to leave and did not. That's right. Think back to June 5th when the NCAA announced a postseason ban as part of sanctions against a coach who was no longer with the program. It is under appeal, but Mike Boynton said at that moment he did not know what kind of roster he'd even have this season. Of 13 possible players who could stay, 11 chose to stay and be true. They believed in Mike Boynton and this program, including a future lottery pick in Cade Cunningham. They started the season unranked, not knowing whether they'd get to play, and here they are in March competing for a championship. Not only that, the appeal is still being heard, so they have their plane tickets tomorrow to go to Indianapolis. The belief and faith of these kids has paid off, and here they are ready to compete for a title. In the Big 12 championship game against a Texas team, Fran, that goes as their guards go. Yes. Started out with a Maui Invitational Championship. It's been a COVID roller coaster for the Longhorns. A terrific athletic front line, but the three guards have been through adversity over four years, and man, are they playing well, winning five of their last six coming into tonight. 